Here we go. So, where we left off, um, I, can't, I don't even remember her name. What's her face got blown up or whatever. The doctor made it across the bridge. Like I said, it, I, I really do. I said this at the end of our close uh, last week when we played this game. But legitimately, if they remade this game in not a top-down, like, arcade game, and they made it, like, an actual, fully, you know, modern style, I really feel like this game would go hard. I really do. And the death that we experienced, I feel like, would have, uh, would have been, it would have hit way harder. So I'm planning on playing this until we finish. So I think this is only going to be a two-part series. Oh, we got to go through the death again. Wait, hold on. I remember... I remember mines being a thing. Wait, how do I... Oh my god, I don't remember controls. How do I crouch? I remember that being... Yep, yep, yep. How do I crouch? Do they have a control screen? Oh my god, I don't even remember. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me... I, dude, I just tried literally everything, and, uh... I couldn't figure it out. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Interesting. You can't with them? Really? Okay. Wait, then, so... Oh, I guess I'm gonna be probably coming back through here anyway, right? I guess this is a recap. Only one at a time. Mad Madnar's gonna go first. Oh, I forgot, I forgot I'm supposed to move. Gustavo! No! They go on for a little while. Metal Gear. My favorite character, Gray Fox. All that work that we did to get the doctor just for him to get taken away from us, like, come on, man. Classic Metal Gear. All right. So this is where we left off last week, right here. Gustava dead. She gave us... Uh, key card number six. So now I guess we're moving on and uh, figuring out what. Oh, Holly. Uh, veranda in the tower building they use for parachute jump training. Which building? I don't remember actually. The tower building. 
So that's the north building? A hang glider? You can jump from there straight over the crevice. Hang glider. There should be a hang glider on the east side of the first floor of the Zanzibar building. East side, first floor, Zanzibar. I saw it once at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Cafeteria, maybe? What is Metal Gear? Metal Gear is uh, one of my favorite story games of all time. Oh, Mother Trucker. One of my favorite story games of all time, man. I, okay, so I have two rations. Wait, what is this? Sands of our land. It's used. Uh, its use is unknown. Okay. Wait, did we experience the backstory of Gustavo? I'm telling you, man. I really feel like because the whole experience with Gustava, right? She showed up very quickly, and we had that like moment in the sewer or whatever, the underground tunnel, and uh, just with how this game is, it doesn't. It, it's it's hard to pull you in, right? Because it just the the style of the game. So, like I said, man, I really feel like if they had, if, if they eventually ever decide they want to redo these games in a more modern style, they very easily could. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, they added it outside, okay. Like, obviously, you know, we have that chat with Gustavo or whatever, but, like, it's, it's, yeah, it's not very... Wait, where do I go? I don't know, it's, it's, it, they don't, they, they don't draw you in very well. Do I have equipment that can get me out of here? Oh, I forgot I have a suppressor on my pistol. Shout out to the bucket. I'm looking to see what I have. I don't have anything that's gonna help me here. Like, in terms of like maybe climbing or something. Can't go right? Okay, interesting. Oh, I can use my directional pad. That's actually gonna make it way easier. Because there's only four points of movement anyway. Okay, I'm trying to think. Oh, is it a key? Am I stupid? I'm probably stupid. Um, is it a key card? Hello? Am I crazy? Uh, dude, are we going to have to use the guide already? Like, how the frick do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, man. Old school games, am I right, dude? Alright. To the guide. Let's see. What do we gotta do? Uh, head east. Their mines in front of the trucks. Crawl over them. Yep. Go through the southern- wait. Exit the truck and head west again and go through the southern door- southern door? Is there a door at the bottom of the screen that I just completely looked over? Oh my god, there is! There's a door right here, guys! Holy crap, I'm blind! Oh, not cool! We're gonna, we're gonna equip this, just in case. We're gone. How could they know? There's no way they know, right? No way they know. 
Listen, that timing was terrible. All right, we're gonna wait for him to clear, and then we're gonna go. Go, Snake! Oh, he came from the other side. We're just gonna clear them all out. Screw these guys. Oh! Ow. See, that's why we equipped the ration. Dang it, he saw me. Mother trucker. I know how to get out of this. Key card six, we're out of here. We're gonna go left. Wait, wait, patience. Go, 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 go! Out of there. All right, let's reset. Let's try that again. This is not the Zanzibar building, if I remember correctly. So we need... I'm trying to remember how to get out from here. Let these guys patrol past us. Oh, we gotta push the button. This is the building we need to come back to, though, after we get the hang glider. Wait, no, 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 we don't need to go in this elevator. We need to go this way. We're gonna be a box. No, we need to go left. Like, I'm gonna let him get away with shooting me like that. Are you kidding me? Screw you, buddy. I also remembered I didn't need to go this way. We gotta go all the way around. So if you guys are a little lost and confused on how I'm navigating uh, so well in this game, uh, the mini-map actually on the right side of the screen is where I'm looking like 90% of the time. So we need to go through this door. I don't remember the card for this door. Oh, hold on chat, give me just a second. We'll get right back to it. Give me just a second. Okay, we're ready to roll. All right, we gotta go to Zanzibar. I mean, we're in Zan... We gotta go to the Zanzibar building. We got a long way to go. So, Holly told me east side. She said she had Thanksgiving there. First floor east side. I guess I could have just snuck straight through in between them. I need this guy. Okay. We can actually go right now. Oh, that's tragic. Hey, that works. The amount of mines we're gonna have is gonna be crazy.
Yo, shout out to the time we had to follow that guard through here and it took us like an hour. That was crazy. All right, we are now in the Zanzibar building. This is the guy that we had to follow too. This guy right here. All right, we have the master card now, so we don't have to worry about Mother trucker, dude. Oh, hello. Okay, that worked, kinda. Get up, snake! East side. I wonder if this is east enough. What are these? Have I been in here? Have I? I'm kind of feeling my way through right now. Oh crap. Oh crap, I knew it. Oh yeah, they know. Listen, listen man. We're a stealth god, okay? Dude, why didn't I use my directional pad from the start? This crap's way easier. Okay, so we we literally can't go any further east in the Zanzibar facility than we are right now. Oh, we've never been able to open this before. All right, this guy on the left... How do we take this guy out with him without him seeing us? This guy on the left is real. I was checking to see if we could reset the orientation of him, but it doesn't look like that we can. That's messed up. That's messed up, man. Oh, th yeah. Okay, there it is. Hang glider. Okay, so now we gotta go back the way that we came. Basically, everything that we did, we now have to undo. Clapped, yo. Oh, I did. I, I was ready. I was coming through blasting. Wait, Mastercard. Don't care. I don't care. I ain't got time for this, man. You can chase me through the jungle instead of me chasing you, okay? Deal? Deal. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, bro. Uh, where's our mind detector? Uh, we're gonna stick to the right side because I think we can get through the right side easier than we can the left side. Dude, if you guys weren't here last week for part one, we, we have done this path like a thousand times. Excuse me, coming through. Beep beep. Oh, what a shot, dude! 
run! <laughs> and we've never done it like this! card do we need? I think it's four. I'm gonna go to the right. I don't know where the guards are gonna patrol from. I do not remember what elevator we need to take, though. Probably 30, right? We probably gotta go to the, the which is the one in the center. But I don't remember, I remember the platform that I need to jump off of, but I don't remember where it's at. I think this takes us up to floor 20. Uh oh, I picked the right elevator. Ah, it's Gray Fox! What do you want, Gray Fox? It's me, great. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Fox! You should have listened to my warning, Snake. Now I'm afraid our friendship is at an end. That elevator is gonna be your tomb. What? Do you hear that sound? That's an assassination team. They specialize in confined, spa confined spaces. I'm sure you'll put up a good fight. The ceiling! It was a nice talking to you one last time, Snake. Over and out. Oh, God. The Four Horsemen. We get our orders directly from the president. Consider this an honor. We only fry the big fish. Okay. Grenades, maybe? Mines? We'll see if they drop down. Holy crap! I am getting cooked, guys! Maybe gas grenades? Hmm... Mines don't work! Oh, they do! Yo, this is crazy! We're about to get one of them. Okay, one down. I'm seeing a pattern. I'm seeing a pattern. Oh, crap. We've got this! Ah. Ah. Dude, I cooked that one guy. Oh, we've got this in the bag. Oh, and now it's just one. I'm too good. I told you I'm a professional. Oh, crap. Oh no, we're in trouble now though. Uh, key card seven? We have key card seven now. Uh, so I'm assuming that elevator is out of commission. 
So I guess now, like, what do I do now? Do I go to floor 30? I didn't think the mines actually, the mines would have been easier than the grenades. But, um, I don't know. I placed them down and I guess I expected them to stay on my screen. Which I don't know why, because I know they don't. This is what happens when you don't play for a week. You forget things. So my thinking process here is that I go to the elevator that'll take me higher than the floor that I want to be on. And then I can figure out a way to go down. That's my thought process. I mean, I guess I also could have done it the other way, gone to the other elevator that goes to floor 10 and find a way to work my way up. Oh, I forgot about the trap. Holy crap. This is where the pigeon was. This is, I don't need to be up here. This isn't gonna do me any good. This was a wasted trip. Now we're gonna go all the way back. Mother trucker. Card 7 must work on every door, because, uh, that, obviously, we just got card 7. That was not a card 7 door. I'm not gonna question it. Listen, if I don't have to swap between 100 different cards just to get through a door because I don't remember what every door is, uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm alright with that. I'm thinking right now, I'm like, is there another, another way to that platform? And there's not one that I know of. Oh, I was shooting thinking that guy on the left was on the, the same path I was. So that elevator right there is the one we need to get to. Oh, they don't even walk in? Oh, that works. This is how we take care of, uh... This is how we take care of this situation when we gotta go from the center to the outside. <laughs> That's how we take care of the guards that patrol through. Oh, that might not go off. In case that doesn't go off. Yeah, it didn't go off. I'm an idiot. You guys really pondering a sound that came from here, huh? Wait, why is he going that way? Oh, he comes back? I wonder how long that mine will stay there. All 
All right, we're gonna try this elevator and we're gonna see what happens. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I I I don't know where to go from here. We're trying to figure it out where we're trying to apply our knowledge of video games. The years of experience. I'm trying to remember what was here. None of these elevators work. Okay. Out of my way, kid. We like extra loot! There a door on the left over there? There might be a door all the way on the left. Uh, this is gonna be like a five or a four door. Dang, we really needed those. Holy crap, we went through so many grenades. I mean, we're back up to 40 already now, so... We're not gonna have a problem in the grenade category for a little while. Unless we come across another four horsemen. When in doubt, if you're uh, ever in a boss battle in Metal Gear and you know that a gun's not gonna work, just throw a bunch of explosives at them. Oh. Yeah, I should have known that wasn't gonna work. I wonder, can, I, can we get away? Wait, can we get away with doing this? Does he know? They they know, they definitely know. They definitely know. Wait, I gotta switch off of this. Camp the door. Oh, that shot was insane. Get me out of here. Okay, we've never been in here before. I know that. So, is this a stairwell? Oh! This is classic. This is classic Metal Gear right here. I know not to fight the guards. Where's my flashbangs? Climbing a very large staircase with enemies chasing after you. Where's the enemies in front of me? It's crazy to me. I, so I've never played these Metal Gear games. I've always played the Metal Gear Solid games. It's crazy to me how much of that is influenced by these games. Listen, stepping back and shooting these guys, I already know is not even going to do anything for me. We gotta get to floor 20, we're halfway there. Sixteen. Four to go. <laughs> Ammo in case I decided to fight. Oh, a trap! Okay. N not cool! Think about the people that take this staircase on a normal day-to-day -day basis. This is such a death trap.
One more. More ammo in case I need it. Okay, floor 20. We made it. <laughs> Chat, we made it. <laughs> okay, have we been here? I, I think we've been here. Yeah, we've definitely been here. Oh, I did not see that guy. Wait, no way. Oh, oh, is this here? Are we here? It's me, your number one fan. You can only jump from there when the wind's blowing north. It usually blows south, but sometimes it changes. Just for an instant. That's your chance. Don't miss it. Keep up the good work. Yo! Wait, I'm confused. How do I know when it's gonna blow north, though? Oh, I thought I missed. How am I supposed to tell? A bow. Bro, he's doing so much damage to me. That was not worth. Right screen, wrong spot? What do you mean? I mean, I know I'm not supposed to jump from here, but I don't know how to tell when the wind is blowing north. Because I don't see anything on the, on the screen that prompts me about it. Oh, well, I guess we could be a bucket. Is there anything here? There's nothing here either. I missed. Oh, I suck. Oh, bro, my bullet stopped. Hey, guys, you gotta come around to get me. Do I just go for it? I thought maybe I'd just go for it, you know? Oh, that, that's... I'm being trolled here. This spot sucks.
Ha. Huh. This might be another guide time because I don't understand. The only thing that I can think is that there might be something else here that could help me out. Because we haven't tried everything yet. In here. Are you telling me anything useful? For parachute jumps, yeah. Hang glider, I bet you can jump even farther. Okay. Um, I'm gonna mess around on this floor for a little bit, and then we're gonna see... I, I wanna try to see if I can figure it out before we refer to the guide. But I am confused right now. And it could, I mean, it could be something as simple as, like, I'm, I'm just not pushing the right button to use the, the glider. There's a guard right in front of us. Wait for him to move. Now he's really right on the other side of that hallway. Come on, buddy. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought he was coming down to me. What an odd interaction. Is it obvious what I need to do, or am I crazy? I still don't know what this is, other than maybe just something for us to hold on to. I'm, th I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, it's got to be something obvious, right? <laughs> you never know. You never know with, it, with this game, man. I got nothing right now, man. I got nothing. So I got the glider. I come to the jump spot. I get a message that says, you gotta wait for it to blow north. The wind, it doesn't do it for very long, but it usually blows south. So I was thinking that there might be something that would tell me what direction the wind is blowing in. But I haven't seen an indicator. And... Uh, I thought even if I jump at the wrong time, it'll there's just a landing spot to the south that'll it'll take me to. Let me run around on this floor a little bit and see if there's anything here. Cuz you can't you can't interact with the uh, with the elevators. Which I think is how I got here before. Oh my god, I tried every card but the correct one.
And then this is back to the stairwell, right? Oh yeah, dude, I got I got nothing. I got nothing. Cause I'm not about to go back down that stairwell on a hunch. Ain't no way. Play out these guards. I really should use the binoculars more. Wait, does the binoculars freeze time? Oh, it sure does. This guard is in the worst spot. Blap! Dude, if I could shoot from one screen to the other with my handgun, that would be dope. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, the rations back. Oh, I guess if you go through a loading screen, that's when they come back. Okay. Let's see. Um No way! Are you serious? I mean, good on them for this, but like, holy crap. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wait, am I supposed to wait a certain amount of time? Or am I just supposed to throw them? This is insane. It's such a cool mechanic. I'm about to run out. Uh, now what? <laughs> now what do we do? Wait, did that actually work? Oh my god, that actually worked. We made it! I would have never figured that out, I'll be honest.
The arrow never was pointing north, though. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We made it! Okay, we're gonna go opposite of where the enemies are. Wait a second. When in doubt, always put on the mine detector. Box it up. <laughs> Box it up! What did I do? Mother Trucker! Do I need a card? I don't think I do. Well, I mean, we've got a little ways to go. But we don't have a little ways to go. Mother trucker. Wait, so if the truck can bring us back here, how the... Why can't we just go back that way? Plot hole. Plot hole. Unbelievable. I still, you know what? I'm gonna mess around with these things for a second. How the heck do you... Did that work? Nope. Can I make it all the way across? Screw you. Twofer! I guess it could have just gone through. Yeah, I could have just left. Because, I mean, we're going to have to do this anyway. Long run ahead of us. I remember in the original Metal Gear Solid how cool the staircase run was. I remember my father getting extremely upset because he was like, how long is this? And I was like, this is intense. Like, I was too young to even know what the word intense even meant. I don't know what this means, but it is lit! Ah. They're hot on our trail. We're doing great. <laughs> We're making great time. Thanks for the ammo. See you later. Three to go. Two to go. 
Oh, my legs are tired. These are stairs, not ramps. One to go. Uh, uh. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Oh my god, I'm getting cooked. We're fragging out. No, he saw me. What do you mean? Are we good? Oh, we're not. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so we don't have any gas grenades. So can we just do the cigarette trick? And then, wait. Wait a second. What, what do I do now? How do I, wait a second. Do I have to go all the way back? Get the hang glider to come all the way back up here to do... There's no way, right? There's no way that you're about to tell me that I've got to go all the way back to get the hang glider to come back up here to jump again? No way. Do I really have to go back to Zanzibar to get it? First floor of the tower building. Okay. Okay. Because that's definitely more reasonable than having to go all the way back to get the hang glider again. I'd have been like, oh, you know, because it was like the, the truck thing's like, oh, haha, -ha, funny, you know, Kojima, you're, you're hilarious, buddy. Ugh. Oh. I mean, I still gotta go down the staircase, though. I should just say screw it and farm that ration. We'll, we'll check the first floor of the tower building and see if that truck is there. Dude, we have gone up this staircase twice and now down this staircase. I didn't even think about, like, the hang glider not being on me anymore. I didn't even think about it. Like, if I've carried it with me this whole time just to use it to fly down there, why would I not just keep it on me, you know? Halfway.
So we're gonna try to find this truck. If we can't find this truck... Yeah, I got nothing else, I'll be honest. I thought for sure you were about to tell me that I'm gonna have to go back down, get that hang glider just to turn around and come right back up. Because the hang glider's all the way in Zanzibar building. Like, we're not even in that area. We'd have to go all the way down this entire flight of stairs, leave, go to the Zanzibar building, go to the east side, collect that, just to turn around, come all the way back here, then climb the 20 floors again. We're gonna throw a grenade at these guys. I don't even care. Catch. <laughs> Screw those guys, am I right? I still don't know how to get past these things. No, you know what? It's not worth the the ammo. I mean, I guess that worked. Like, think about this. Like, what we're doing right now is what I was, like, thinking we were going to have to do twice. The mouse does work. I mean, I don't know, like, what would the mouse accomplish for me there, though? What door would this... Thank God, I was just in range for that. Did this door? Ouch. It's, it's is it one of these trucks? Might as well stock up on these, right? Oh, I guess you can only get... I guess you can just infinitely pick them up, but... Only 30 of these you can actually carry? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Seriously, though, the gas grenade thing? Super creative. I don't know how people are supposed to figure that out, but... Genius. Love to have rations, man. The only truck that makes sense would be this one, but I, I, it doesn't seem like that's the case, I'll be honest, because this is a... Uh, loot loot uh truck no it's, it's six it can't be out front right because the it might be out front because if i go to the right or east if i go east out the front it's just gonna put me back in wait there's a truck on the west side the side we're on I think now that I think about it it's a conveyor truck yeah and that does make sense
I got jabated. I got jabated. They had half the door not showing. No, see, I was- I remembered this truck right here. That's not the one, though. Mother trucker. Uh, it doesn't matter what we have in our hand. Oh, no way he turned around! Finessed. Absolutely finessed. So this is just gonna put us in the factory. And I don't think there's another door inside there. Because if I go all the way back around, I'll just go into the factory or the warehouse. Is there a truck between Zanzibar and the tower? Maybe? Dude, you know what's crazy? Like, even if I wanted to cheat and use the guide for that, oh, like, that, that whole section, literally, it doesn't even tell you about the, 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 the truck that could send you back. Literally doesn't even tell you about it. Like, hey, don't go in this truck unless you want to go all the way back and be lost for an hour. Because even with help, I'm lost. I guess I don't have to leave. I could just set this here and then wait. Okay, pal. Wait, hold on. I just remembered. Literally, it just hit me. Leave me alone! Oh, he saw me. Ho. Oh. Reset our, uh, our alert level. Yeah, top right in the tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, over here on my right. Like, two grids over. It's at the top of the warehouse. I literally, like, while I was being chased, I it just... I It hit me. He, 
You know, yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. This one, this door. Faster! 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 <laughs> I've never actually been in this room. Holy crap. All of that for a shortcut. Uh, it doesn't matter what we were. Oh, you mother truckers. Holy crap! I killed them! Um, okay, I can't touch those wires, that's for sure. I want to go left. I want to see what's over there. I, you know, I just knew it. I just knew it. None, okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, this sucks. This sucks. We're just gonna reset it. Because they could be in the same grid, but on the other side of the wall, so I could never actually lose them. That kind of sucked. Okay, how the heck am I going to get in here? Is this going to be one of those wall things? Maybe a guided rocket? I, I don't know, I'm just trying, I'm trying anything that I can think of. Cause I see, a, I see a switch up there. So I'm thinking maybe a rocket through here, right? This. Uh, after firing, use the left stick to manually control the direction, guide it to the target. Yeah, so I'm thinking we fire this. Guide it through the lasers.
That didn't work. Well, I gotta wait for this guy to walk to the left and then walk back. Come on, man. What's that noise? We're just trying- we're trying the cards again now that we're not on an alert level. Did I miss? Maybe? Maybe I missed. Well, I definitely missed that time. <coughs> definitely didn't miss. Okay, definitely didn't miss. Oh, was there a door that I missed? Oh, this guy's route is so annoying. It's so annoying! Go, 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 go! Holy crap. I was stuck. I was trying to go left. I couldn't go left. I knew it. Oh man, I'm stupid. Nest. Gotta time it. And then we gotta run to the side, wait for this guy to come in, and then go out after him. And he's gonna come out, we're gonna be gone. Out of there. Out of there. Oh! I didn't account for that. I think they know. I think they know. They know! They know! They know too much! Swap out for the bucket. How was I supposed to know that this door was here, man? Boss? What is that? Jungle Evil. I've been waiting for you, Snake. I am Jungle Evil, the undisputed master of the jungle ambush. 
Let's see whether you're a real snake or not. I can't carry anymore? Anymore what? Oh, I saw him pop up. Wait, I can't put these down? Oh, come on. I had I had him, dude. All right, how are we going to figure out where this guy is? What's the trick here? They said you can't carry anymore. I maxed out on grenades. I maxed out on explosives. Maybe it's grenades. Oh, hello! Oh! Kobe! Okay. I thought if he popped up in the same spot again... Bro, when in doubt, just go get a bunch of grenades for these bosses, dude. Oh, we're lighting him up. I. Whoa! Got him! I am the real snake. Keycard. Number eight. All right, let's go see if these were, in fact, grenades over here. They were. They were indeed grenades. Our max health went up. Screw that guy. Oh, what is this? Can I blow up the, these cameras? No. Rolling gas. Oh no! Wait, we just go fast. Just go. Just go fast. Oh, the whole place is filled with gas. Get under. Okay, we're not, not even close, dude. Well, now we gotta wait, dude. Mm. 
No, that's still not it. Right now. That's a small window to get through. Holy crap. One of these got to open, right? Switch to these. I don't know why I'm grabbing this egg, but I am. Oh my god, it was a mother trucker. An egg taken from a bio lab doesn't look edible. Its use is unknown. We got another egg. Pick it up. Get out of here. Crap. Crap. Hey, so explain this to me. If it ju if the place just loops around, why is one side a key card seven and the other a key card six? What kind of sense does that make? Okay. What do the eggs do? This is definitely going to be one of those situations that's going to be very, like, a niche thing to, to need to know what to do. Like, it's going to be a very specific thing, right? And the game doesn't tell you. This is definitely going to be a guide type of moment. I already know it. Already know it. If I go back to the right, if I go back to the right, there's literally going to be nothing there for me to do, right? Because all I've gotten since the last time I was there was eggs. These two eggs, right? I'm trying to think back maybe to the tower or to the tower. What does the tower have? We've got some, like, dinosaur egg or something. I'm trying to think, like, what? I don't think there's anything at the tower. So, th I'm thinking back to the Zanzibar building. Um, I might just say screw it and go back to the, um... Let's just say screw it, let's go back over here. See if there's anything over here. Farming rations. Oh, and card eight. I do have card eight. Maybe you can get in that shack by the lasers. Dude... I, I kid you not, that was actually what I was about to try to do. But I wasn't thinking about car eight. I was just thinking like, I don't know, maybe the eggs have something to do with it now, you know? I, literally, that's what I was thinking. What? 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 What is this? What is this? Eggs have hatched! I have a snake and an owl! The snake's crawling around in my pockets! There's kids in here? Know what? At night they turn the power off, so all the laser fences get turned off too. Then we get to play inside as long as the grown-ups don't catch us. I hear owls at night. It's so scary. I can't sleep. They keep the animals in a room northwest of here.
Dude, it did eat my rations. What the crap, dude? Bro, that's so messed up. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me just one second. I promise I'm not cheating. Dude, I seriously can't believe it ate my rations. <laughs> you were right, like... When the snake is over the eggshell, you can get rid of it, so I don't need the snake? So the snake ate my ration. Oh, so one of them is just a screw you and the other is actu actually has a use to it. Man, I can't believe the snake ate my rations, dude. That's so messed up. Okay. So, I, okay. So, with the information that we've been given, how do we wait for nighttime? That's the question. Can we trick him into thinking it's nighttime with the owl, maybe? Wait, what did that say? I literally went to move as soon as... Oh my god, it worked. No way that worked. That actually worked? Oh, I thought he might see us. Card. Kid, what's up? There's lots of rats in the jail. They steal all kinds of things and take them back to their nests. The grown-ups put out sulfuric acid to try and get rid of them. Are you kidding me? This is the animal room. Gotta be, right? Whoa! Holy crap! Which one is the magic number four? Ration. Need one of those again. Stupid snake. Ate all my food. All right, we gotta follow this sucker. Wait a second, let's not do that. Let's think about it, because if we followed that in, there was no coming back if we got it wrong, so. Oh, I thought my game crashed. Okay, speaking of that, let's go ahead and save right now. Oh god, yeah, they did say rats, yes. Oh no. <laughs> rats, you say? Right, let's go to the other side. We're gonna blow this guy up. We're still gonna blow this guy up. <laughs> Screw that guy! Alright, what's in here? This one. Yep. Hey, we got our grenade back! Would you look at that? Um, I appreciate all the ammo and everything. I would like to have rations though, please. Okay, thanks. Dude, I had like four rations, and one of them was really good. The snake ate it.
card four. So it seems to be four or the master key. I want chocolate. Mister, do you have a B1 ration? Have chocolate in them. The one-eyed man uh, is like our daddy. He doesn't like grown-ups. Okay. So, I do have a B1 ration, and it has chocolate in it. Uh, so, chocolate! Chocolate! I'm gonna go out and get the other B1 ration. We're gonna get two of them. There's gotta be some sort of significance to the B1 ration. Okay, so now we're gonna go this way. into here and we gotta follow this go 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 oh. go 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 all right we're in oh, oh, oh. Uh, four. Eight. Okay, we're just checking. We're just testing everything. There's an elevator over here. Can you imagine how ridiculous that technique was for us to get in here? They unlock everything at night, right? So, it's daytime out, so we go and find an owl in a lab that hasn't hatched yet. Wait for it to hatch. It hatches. We hold it out. It goes, who, 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 and the guard goes, oh, dang, it's nighttime already? Let's shut everything down. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's so ridiculous, man. That's so funny, though. There's our friend. It's me, your number one fan. Snake, watch yourself. You've got company. Night Fright, the last surviving member of the Whispers. You know, the legendary gorilla unit. Night Fright? He's wearing a state-of-the-art camouflage suit that makes him practically invisible. Not only that, he'll attack you with a gun that's completely silent. No one has ever seen his face. You know what you have to do, right? Lucky me, I've got a fan club. Use your ears, Snake, over now. Oh, guys, so last time I played a week ago, I could, I could barely hear out of my right ear. We're good now. Oh, oh, oh. This aim doesn't have directional audio. Oh. So each grid has its own sound to it. Okay. I've got an idea. Okay, this doesn't open. Oh, 
I'm about to unload on him as soon as he walks over here. Bro, I'm over here, dude. He's shooting, but he's not... Nope. He went the other way. Oh, I hit him. We lit him up right there. Yo, let's go! Let's go! We're lighting him up! Can I win it? Keep firing! <laughs> that was nuts. Holy crap, that was crazy. What is this? Winnie the Pooh's been here. How do I, wait a second. That did so much damage to me that that would have one shot me. What do I have that could help me with this, dude? This looks like the tunnel that Gray Fox killed everybody in in, in Shadow Moses. How do I... How do I survive this? Other than having rations. Do I need to go farm rations or something? Because I know where to get... Two? Yeah, get wrecked and visit, dude. Oh, I actually have to have rations. I have to just tank it. I mean, that is one. That is one way to do it. Uh, this is uh, an important door. So, yeah. See, there's one of them. I tried to fire. I couldn't fire. I tried. I tried shooting. Yeah, screw your alarm, buddy. There's the other. Oh god, I'm scared.
Can I make this? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Go, 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 I still don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be like some big, uh, floor cleaner? What do they call those things? Um, uh, 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 um, the little robots that clean the floor? <laughs> he looked over, he was like, who's there? Dead. <laughs> he did the same thing! <laughs> Chocolate neutralizes sulfuric acid. I see. I'm no scientist. I went to a trade school. Zamboni. Well, I was thinking the little little ones, but yeah, Zamboni works. Yeah. So we're hoping that it hasn't reset. Oh, yeah, it's an important room, that's right. <gasps> These doors are open already. They stayed open. Dude, if I had timed that, that'd have been sick. All right, we're gonna tank the sulfuric acid with chocolate. Chocolate! Dude, I can only imagine how many people died. Right here. Because they didn't have a B1 ration, because the snake ate everything. Seven, six, four, five. Hello? Was that guy supposed to drop a card for me? Cause he did. Cause he definitely didn't. Unless it was invisible. Was the card invisible? No, he definitely didn't drop me anything. Okay, well now what? Gotta call. Our friend. Our fan, sorry. You should be able to get card 9 from Jungle Evil. Don't you mean card eight? He's only had card eight. No, he was in charge of cards eight and nine. He must have dropped it somewhere. Check the area he was in. The card should be there. Keep up the good work. This guy, this guy. Well, I mean, at least we can get some more rations again. Oh, come on. Wait, why is this side not an 8, but the other side is a keycard 8? Make it make sense. Heck, you Roomba.
four. We're cooking now with some premium gas. Yo, I feel like we're really, uh, we're really making some progress right now. Other than the, the hang glider incident that we had earlier, I think we're doing pretty all right. Oh, my bad. I'm ready for somebody to come into this truck. Okay, we're good. Holy crap, we've got so much ammo. Card seven. All right, now we gotta search this entire area for a card. This thing could be anywhere. I have a method. <laughs> okay, and it worked instantly. I was literally gonna run the wall, do a lap around, move a tile in, do a lap around, move a tile in, back around. I <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. as a strategy. Out of there. Cooking with that premium gas. We know what we're doing around these parts. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, we almost ran into it. Oh, hello. Ow. He got eight. Oh. Uh, mask on. Okay. Okay, okay. Open, 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 open it! Man, do we look like a professional, like, playing this game, or what? Like, we look like we know what we're doing. All right, who's in here? It's the doctor. Snake, you're too late. He's already passed away. What? He couldn't take it anymore. His heart. Bruise on his neck. You strangled him, you evil man. Marv may be dead, but the plans for our Oilix are safe. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but. A very careful man. He left behind a copy of the plans in case of emergency. He had a reputation as a video game enthusiast. He even used to have them shipped to him from the West every month. A few days ago, he hid some microfilm in the circuit board of his, of one of his game cartridges. MSX cartridge. Nice. 
Uh, I hit the cartridge inside the locker. Where's the key? I don't know. I couldn't get it out of him. I mean, he never told me. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't make me kill you. I'll do it. Snake, you're in danger. I've been in danger this whole time. Holly, what's wrong? Snake, it's Madnar. I thought there was something strange about him, so I had the agency check him out. After he was rescued from Outer Heaven, apparently things didn't go well for him. His radical theories were rejected in the West. He was dismissed as a madman and shut out for, from the scientific community. And as time went on, he was forgotten. Madnar wasn't exactly happy with the scientific community either. He must have been searching for some way to get back at them. That's when Zanzibar Land talked him into becoming a double agent. He'd use his status as a scientist to feed technological secrets from East and West to Zanzibar Land. And Dr. Marv's disappearance? Right. The timing is too perfect! Madnar must have given them every detail of Marv's itinerary in the U.S. Madnar was after Oilix all along! That's why he wanted to go to America with Marv. You! You've got... <laughs> you got me! I gave up everything to be a part of your world, even the country I was born and raised in. But your world had nothing but contempt and abuse for me. I just wanted to finish Metal Gear. Metal Gear is not something uh, that uh, a lot of people would be okay with, I'm just saying. Uh, your politicians were only interested in nonsense like SDI, Ned W, and brain bombs. <laughs> brain bombs? Uh, in return, they aided me in my efforts to improve Metal Gear. Madnard, did you kill Dr. Marv? Yes! Of course he did. Uh, it was I who caused Gustavo's death on the bridge by contacting Fox from the sewer. I knew he was up to something when he was like, oh, Guys, I'm tired. I gotta sit down. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta go do something. It's like, what? I know Marv. No, Gustavo. Give you the key to the locker. Give it to me! The Wait, it's the- da, 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 da. He's choking me! Wait, how do, how do I- how do I... How- think. Think. How- how can I... <laughs> He's got me. He's got me in a chokehold. Do I blow myself up? Nope, that doesn't work. How do how do I get, how do I get out of this? This doctor has got me in a chokehold. Think, think, think. I already tried to melee. I couldn't melee. How? Can I, like, blow myself up with him on me, maybe? Then the mouse isn't gonna help. The gun's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. The grenade probably isn't gonna help. Maybe the mine or the... Wait. We're on it. Wait, did that work? Oh, yeah, we got him. Just keep throwing him! Wait, I'm, I'm killing myself. We've got him. We've got him! Go gas mask, I'm already on it. I'm trying! I'm trying to throw him! This guy's tough! Throw 
home faster! I'm running out of time! Oh, holy crap, we got him. Wait, is this not the key? Am I crazy? Wait, was it an actual key card? I thought it might have been this. Okay. <laughs> Am I stupid? She gave us one of these. Right? Or was it six? I don't I don't know. Anyway, it didn't matter because none of them were working on the locker. Why why can I go under here? Is this not the locker they were talking about? Open up! He's not dead. I know he's not. He's not dead. I'm gonna teabag him. Idiot, take that, stupid. <laughs> open the locker won't open. Blow it up. I forget that that's a thing sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what else to try. I don't know what else to try. If I thought smacking my back into the wall would have actually worked, I might have actually tried that. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie with you. But I, I was like, there's no way that that's gonna work. Uh, might want to guide this one. Okay, let's do it. Um, I gotta find where I'm at. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have to tab out, but I did. Oops. Mother trucker, I did it again. Okay. Let's see there. Okay. Uh, yep. That's the mannequin room. The staircase. Okay. That's key card nine.
fool. Why? Wait, so why do you want me to search that? So we're gonna take the <laughs> So <laughs> take the elevator to the first floor. I know uh but you to get to the entrance. Electrical fences back up, just use the owl. Go south. Head west twice while avoiding the floor sensors. Watch out for the two guards here. You might want to pick up things these two trucks though go west three times stand next to the conveyor belt and equip the car we gotta go all the way back for what blue card i don't have a blue card do i have a blue card I don't have a blue card. How do I get a blue card? What is this blue card that they're talking about? This guy still hasn't... This guy still hasn't told me... Oh, they want me to go all the way to Zanzibar? I gotta go all the way back to Zanzibar? Whew! Alright, guys. Strap in. We are in for a journey. We'll come back to it when we're, uh... Screw this guy. Okay, let's get out of here. So, I thought I had to get into the locker because he was talking about the locker, but I, I guess not. Oh, I missed... Are you telling me I could have combined? Oh. Just four, five, and six. Oh, that's fine. Dude, how do I miss? How do I miss so much? I feel like I don't. I feel like I clear everything. Do I not? I, I mean, I must not. Because I missed the other card earlier. I mean, I eventually found it, but. And then uh, the one room with the truck in it. I feel like I just miss like one room sometimes. Um, this was eight. Four. Nope, this red key card. There's a lot of optional backtracking. Okay, okay. Not cool. Oh, okay. Uh, eight. Eight. Alright, so we go through here. All the way to the left. We're on the run. We're on the run, boys. <laughs> oh!
<laughs> Got him twice. Idiot. Away we go. Okay. To the tower warehouse. We can outrun this guy. Don't mind the box. The menacing box. Don't mind me at all. <laughs> Okay, we remember from last time that this is... This will give us away. Four, I believe. Alright, and now we gotta run all the way down. Okay, so once we get to the first floor of the Zanzibar building... Straight through. He's busy. Oh! He was looking right at me. Excuse me, excuse me. Nope, stay. Uh, yo, yo, think about it. There's mines here, buddy. Careful, careful! You're gonna blow us both up! Run! <laughs> Idiot. Oh my god, he's chasing me into the jungle. Yeah, he was like, yo, no, screw this, dude. He went back. Oh, he was looking right this way. Go east, go up the stairs, and open the northern door. Go east, go up the stairs. So we're gonna go through this door. We're gonna go east and open the southern door. Go up the stairs and open the northern door. Okay, I was like, wait a second. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like what we just did. So we're gonna go east, which is this now. Go up the stairs and open the northern door. Open the eastern door with keycard nine. Aha. We picked up green key card, which is seven through nine. So what's what's this one? This is where you just collect all of the key cards. Look at that. That inventory looking nice now. Okay, so now we've got the green key card. Exit using the green uh, and go back south using the red card. Go east, then south three times, then west, then north. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go out here. We're gonna go east and then south three times. So... East block, and then we're gonna go south three times. So here's one. 
You in my way? Here's two. Here's three. Then we're gonna go west. Then we're gonna go north. Right, I think. Hold. <laughs> Guy's about to walk up on us. Uh, then west and north. Climb the balcony and head east, north, then west. Take the elevator to the second floor. So we're gonna go up this way, east, north, then west. Okay, so we're we're going into the elevator. That's over here. This way. We haven't been here in a while. Second floor. We're going to the second floor. It's been a while since we've been into the, the, the main Zanzibar building. Okay. Um, go through the western door with the blue card. Oh, that's a red card. There's nothing in here. Wait. This guide says take the... Wait a second. Wait a gosh darn second. He's looking right at me. Oh, he turned around. Oh, it's because the thing made noise. The guy, okay, so the guy said take the elevator to the second floor, and then the guy then says, uh, fourth floor, like, what? Unload on the door. Oh, what is that? The body, the pile of bodies that is just in this door. Oh, I'm gonna cream. Okay, we're good. Wait, this one doesn't go up, though. This is the one that goes down to, like, B2 or whatever. Go through the western door with the blue card. Okay, then we're gonna go north twice. One, two, west one. That didn't work. What an idiot. Huh. 
<laughs> what an idiot. Uh, then we go... South twice? We're gonna step in here in case we get walked up on. So we're gonna go through the western door, kill the guard, go north twice, head west while being mindful of the camera, and then go south twice, go through the eastern door. Did we go south three times? This would be south once, twice, go through the eastern door. It says blue card, but the blue card doesn't let me in. Red card lets me in. There's a kid in here. We've been here before. Crawl through the opening. Be careful of the floor traps. <laughs> that timing could not have been more on point. Be careful of the floor traps as the floor opens up. This hoe. Okay, we got we got the good spawn this time. Oh, mother trucker. One of these things is not like the other. Ignore the real guards and go through the eastern door here with the blue card. Go east through the, the eastern door with the red card. Okay. I can't ignore this guy. Okay, that actually works. Oh, hello! I thought I could get underneath that. I was wrong. We're in crazy combat now, boys. We've trained our whole lives for this. That dude just, he bailed out. He was like, screw this, dude. I'm not here. Don't, don't check this out. Your buddy just died, dude. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so now we're going... East to the eastern door. Is there a door up here? There is. We've been in here before. Uh, the freezer. Welcome to the freezer. Equip. Uh, okay. This. Oh my god. It's a key. Uh, get out of the freezer with the red card and go southeast to the women's bathroom. Don't worry, nobody will tell when you take the elevator to the third level basement. So we're back into the sewer. So I'm assuming we're going back now. understand why there's a elevator in the bathroom, the women's bathroom. Ammo! We like ammo!
Oh crap. Oh, holy crap, I didn't think he was going to turn. Uh, blue? Yeah. This is where the betrayal happened. Taking the elevator. I'm reading as I'm going, so I, I'm not talking too much. So we're going to the first floor. All right, we need to keep the blue key card on us. We're literally going step for step on this guide right now. Oh. I think I, I, think I know where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna collect some equipment. Not that we really need it, but, uh, why not? Oh, that went under the truck. Yay, rations! Gas grenades. We use them all, I'm pretty sure. In here. We're gonna take the truck back. Ow! Screw you guys, I'm going home! Okay, before I do this, let me make sure I'm, I'm, I'm doing this right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going in that truck. That's a trap. Don't mind the box. Just moving through. More rations. More! More! Our mine fr mine are still frozen! Don't squish me. Oh, I forgot I can't go this way. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, you know, no. We'll wait. While we wait, we can save again. What would I ever do without this, uh, this guide? Honestly, dude, holy crap. I'm trolling. Green key card. See, I'm starting to get used to like what doors were what numbers, and then yeah, now we're we've combined them. Now I gotta remember what color for what door. What color is what number to match the door that I already knew the number for? Bars.
Down. Then this is where we had the boss battle. Right? The most epic of boss battles that we had. Dude, I, you be, I'm glad you told me you were like, yeah, you might want to guide this one because holy crap, what a process this was. Like, how were you supposed to figure out that you needed to freeze it? Oh. Excuse me? I was gonna stand up and throw a grenade, but I couldn't stand up, so I just moved forward and died. Can I gas him? <laughs> what do I do? Okay, they're not getting any closer. They've got like a barrier. I can't stand up. It, I was told something about rats earlier, and I don't remember what it was. Did I ration him? I don't think I can throw a ration. What if I'm carrying a ration? Nope, that didn't work. I don't know what to do here. So they're, they're an insta-kill regardless if you have a ration in your hand or in equipped. You can't fire your weapon from, like, prone, right? So I can't... Huh. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm really thinking. I, I have no idea how to approach this. <clears throat> oh! They all kind of moved away. Did you see that? They all kind of... Maybe I was on to something. I might have been on to something there. I stopped reading on, on the guide once um, I got to the tower. Because I felt like I didn't necessarily need it anymore.
No. That's not doing anything to him. Do I need to equip one of the rations, maybe? I Like, I know I already tried that. I mean, maybe I just hold on to it for a little while and see what happens. I moved in. I, dude, I've got no idea. No idea what I need to do here. Other than I know that I'm in, like, this is the next thing that I need to do. I don't know how to approach. Oh, I don't know how to approach this. <clears throat> well, so... I was thinking, like, you know, put the gas mask on and try. I was thinking, but unless I can do it from here. gonna save a couple for maybe going in here. Yeah, I can't throw them while I'm in here. And I even tried to crawl like further in like past because they don't come down here, right? So I thought maybe if I see an opening I can run in there, maybe stand up and throw something. I couldn't do it either, so... I'm missing something. I thought maybe, you know, I don't know, the smoke of the cigarettes would push them away or something, I thought. That didn't work either. Let's fire a rocket in the boom. I am one of you. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. We're, we're gonna have to go back to the guide for this. I have no idea what to do. Um, go through the northern door with the green card. Keep the key and go through the locker. Equip the key. Uh, what a big lock or too bad there's nothing inside or is there crawl through the hole gross a crap ton of mice uh, a poisonous Zanzibar land hamster actually uh, Crawl back out of the actual locker and equip your b3 rations and your handgun No way Wait, so we go Crawl back out to the actual locker so we do it from here Ugh, excuse me. I don't know where that's coming from. B3 ration. Oh god, they're coming. Wow, this is wild. Okay. <laughs> what if you don't have a B3 ration, man? Is 
This guy's gonna be up, isn't he? S snake! He'll never let you get away! He'll use it! He'll use Metal Gear! I have one gift from my do for my daughter. I'll tell you how to destroy it. How to destroy the new Metal Gear. Try as I might, I could not reconcile East and West in my heart of hearts. But Ellen is different. Snake, you must do this for Ellen, the daughter I left behind. How do I destroy Metal Gear? Tell me. The armor is thinnest on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way. Oh! You ho! Good thing I didn't need gas grenades. We would have been out of them. The final delusion of a senile old man. There's no way to destroy this Metal Gear snake. Fox, where are you? Come and find out, Snake. Go through the front door. Well, jokes on him, and they're gonna go through the front door. Hmm. I wonder if I need grenades or not. <laughs> not the legs again. Again? Open the door, Fox. There it is. There it is! Snake! I'm not the same as I used to be, and neither is Metal Gear. I'll show you what fear really is. Prepare to taste defeat! <laughs> okay. We've got this. Oh, I can't go any higher. Oh, a rocket! Rocket! Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I died? This time I actually have to fight Metal Gear. Dude, I feel like we did so well not dying in this game and now we've died like a hundred times. Oh, get used to that sound, chat. Oh, I'm so dumb. I naded myself. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Ow. Really? Really? Lame. Okay, so we cannot go up to dodge anything. So we're just gonna stay on the left side and throw grenades at him the whole time. Otherwise, we're gonna get squished. Uh. Take that. Oh, ow, he got me. I missed. Dang, we're gonna take a hit every time right there. Oh! 
Oh yeah, I don't know how we're not gonna take a hit. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we might as well uh, take the hit and uh, hit Metal Gear. Might as well, right? Oh, he got us twice. I still don't know where the sweet spot is. I'm trying to find it. Right there, maybe? Oh, he's hitting us twice now on that one. <laughs> oh, we got him! Take that, Fox! Oh, it's him! The cartridge is mine, Snake! No! Wait, wait, I was being burned. Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 Dude, I can't get out of here. I'm stuck in the in my inventory. Oh, 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 I see, I see. I'm still on fire. Okay, okay, okay. Stop drop and roll! Stop drop and roll! Stop drop and roll! How do I get out of here? I, I think I'm screwed because I, I dumped my cards. I think I'm dead. I think we're dead. I don't think there's anything I can do. Well, this is the slowest, most painful death ever. Not like this, Fox! Not like this! We burned to death. Alright. I won't miss the call this time. We survived Metal Gear just to burn. Let's go, Fox. Let's see what you're made of, bud. Oh, we dodged it! Oh! Did you see me try to crouch and duck it, dude? Yeah, we got it figured out now. Yeah, yeah, we got it now. Oh, took that one on the chin. Suckle on that box.
Okay, we're on fire. Make it quick. Snake, your items are on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment quickly. Wait, so I was actually supposed to just dump everything? Not just the stuff that's on fire? All right, we're dumping it all. Oh, liquid. <laughs> Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. It's been a while, Snake. Here we are, back in the minefield. Let's say we go at it hand to hand. I've only ever heard of this epic showdown. A chicken fight. The two greatest rivals in Foxhound. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Fox, I'll beat some sense back into you. Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Ha! What? I'm busy. Who are you? Gray Fox, real name Frank Yeager, former member of Foxhound. Yeah. He was the last man to hold the title of Fox in the Big Boss era. Decorated five times. Yeah, he's, 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 he is him. I, I know. I know all about how good he is. Better than anyone else. I fought with him. He's cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respected him. Looked up to him. That may be Snake. But do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, when we were in the mercenary trade, uh, we in the mercenary trade knew him as Hunter. Yeah, knew that one too. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. He tried to get her to come over the fence, but it all fell through. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's when Frank started to hate uh, the politicos. Well, I don't know what that is. Uh, what was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater named... <gasps> I knew, I knew, because when she was dying, she was like, Frank! Uh, so, like, I knew it. Gustava. If you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell you everyone that saw the snake... Wait, snake. If you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that saw the snake is the greatest mercenary in the... Oh, okay. Over and out. Okay, I... Oh, oh my god. Well, that, that sucks. We just lost a lot of health. He's trying to bait me into the... Ah! Ah! Oh, we're lighting him up. Frank. You could have been something. Ah! I got him. I got him. Snake, looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Why, Fox? I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss might have been just another CO to you, but he saved my life. Twice. This was way before I joined the unit. The first time, I was... A half-white living in Vietnam. It was after the war, and half-whites were being sent into forced labor. Camps. He saved me from that living hell. Just like he saved all the children here. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a Renamo soldier. And he saved me again. They'd cut off my ears and my nose. And this is your idea of paying him back? No. You've got it wrong. I hate war. Just like all the kids here. But, I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it into the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Big Boss gives us a place to fight. Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. 
I was born on the battlefield, and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. Making people happy, making a woman happy, is something I could never do. You mean... Gustavo? <laughs> Guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me? I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake. Don't let your fans down. It was him! It was him all along! My fans? It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. He was... Deep Throat. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. You won't be alone, Frank. Gustavo is waiting for you. Gustavo. Thank you. Snake. My boy! My boy! They made me kill my boy! Over here, Snake! Over here, Snake! Otacon, I'm coming! It's not Otacon. Who is this? It's him! Uh, you're alive, Big Boss! But how? Welcome to Zanzibar Land. I knew you'd come back to me. I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. Why? Well, he looks like Big Boss. The nightmares, they never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, stay, tasted the exhilaration, the tension, it all becomes part of you. Once you've awakened the warrior within, it never sleeps again. You crave ever bigger tensions, ever bigger thrills. As a mercenary, I think you'd have realized that by now. You care nothing for power, or money, or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your cravings is war. And all I've done is give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, Big Boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Every one is a victim of war, somewhere of the world. And they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. It's a perfectly logical system. <laughs> That's messed up. In this world of ours, conflict never ends, and neither does our purpose. Our raisin di 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 I almost had it. God dang it. There's plenty of job opportunities. Is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities, but back home, we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tabloid. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. I've only got one fight left to free myself from your grip, to rid myself of these nightmares. Big Boss, I will defeat you. It doesn't matter who wins here. Our fight will continue. The loser will be liberated from the battlefield and the winner will remain. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life. Very well, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering. As your former commander, I'll do you one last favor and put you out of your misery. I don't need any more favors from you. Really? And just how do you expect to beat me in your condition with no weapon? Never give up. Chad, never give up! <laughs> never surrender! Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed, even when the odds are against you. Those are your words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. Snake! This will be our final battle. Let's end this once and for all! Oh god. He's got- I don't know. I don't know what to do. The door. The door opened. I picked up card one. I'm picking up my gear. Oh crap. No! Oh! <laughs>
That's so tragic. That's so that's so tragic. That dialogue was good. I've uh, see what's so cool about playing this game is I've only ever heard the stories of what happened here. You know what I mean? I've only ever heard of it. I've never actually like got to experience it. So like being there and seeing it is kind of wild because I've only ever heard about it through like the grapevine of the game. We're going for it. Ah. <laughs> Oh god. Ah! Wait, this door? Okay. Screw that door. Okay, this door opened. Card six. We got a lick in on him. The <laughs> boss, leave me be. Oh, we got a lead on him. Oh, we already opened that door. No, we didn't. Okay, that door didn't open either. No, <laughs> mother trucker. I need to keep- okay, so I need to keep the rations on me in case I walk into that, because that's twice now. Dude, I- I'm telling you, these games would be incredible. I mean, they are incredible, don't get me wrong, but they would be even better if they were made like how games are made now. Like, think like a game like The Last of Us or Days Gone or something like that. But you recreate the original Metal Gear. I mean, I'll be honest, Metal Gear 2 is way better than the first one. Like, Zan this whole Zanzibar incident, way better. But you have to have the first one, right? I wonder if he'll lose this. I mean, he knows we're around here somewhere. Mother trucker, he's, he's protecting the door. Uh, 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 boss! Oh! Ow. <laughs> okay. Key card six doesn't open that. Key card six doesn't open that. Key card six doesn't open that. Key card one doesn't open that. Oh, mother trucker, dude. How do we... Key card one, key card six... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Card two. I'm 
I'm trying to remember where the, the acid is. We're trying to dodge him. <sighs> oh, got him. Two? No. Down. Try this one. Nope. Aha! Card three. Maybe we go back down now? This door? Maybe this door. Card four? Oh, that was close. We've got a lighter. I want to go that way. Four. Oh, that was close. He almost got us on that one. Boss! This guy. He knows. He knows what we're trying to do. He's protecting the door. What is this? Holy! Holy crap! We're gonna burn him? Ugh. Oh my god! Boss, I'm sorry! Dang, he had it. Ah! He had an angle on me right there. No, we're fighting away from that stuff. Hey, boss. <laughs> Baited me. Oh, got him, though. Oh, nice. He's so sporadic with his movements now. Ah, gotcha. Oh, we're lighting him up. Oh, we're lighting him up. Got him. Snake! Oh, that's so brutal. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Snake! Snake! It's over. They gave us a, a literal flamethrower. That's crazy. Freeze! It's okay. It's been Holly! Holly! Where have you been this whole time? Did I scare you? Listen. 
After what I've just been through? No. I'll be honest. One... No. What's going on? What are you doing here? You said it yourself. Stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So, I did. The uniform was too tight in the chest. I feel so much better now. Oh, man. Uh, you... Oh, she gave me a gun! So, it's all over now, right, Snake? I still have one more job to do. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no, you can't! <laughs> you want me to call you a cab? Oh my god, I... Th th I these are so cringy, dude. These are so cringe. <laughs> Charlie? Who's Charlie? This is Charlie, our pilot! Go ahead, Snake! Got the cartridge, I'm ready to return to base! Roger that. I'll meet you there, any passengers? Just one! Okay. Uh, Ronnie Day Point. Did you keep up? I guess we'll see. I, I have no idea where I'm going, but... We have a gun. Oh, it's on. Let's go! Whoa! Okay. Don't let him through. If we let him through, we're in trouble. Go, 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 go! Oh, dude, I was ready for him to come through. Alright, we've got two rations. Ow. Let's go! We're moving so much faster than we normally do. Holy crap. We're cooking. Go, 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 go! We're here! Where are you? We're gonna be here till Christmas, man. Christmas just happened! Ten kilometers from the rendezvous point. Hold tight a little bit longer, over and out. Hooray! Oh, no. Oh. Oh, we're... Oh, they're alternating. Oh. Dude, ow. Oh, it's so brutal. No! Oh, there's a trap! I'm out of ammo? Snake! What, what do you want me to do? I'm out of ammo! This is it! Oh, the chopper's here! Charlie! I ju I've just now met you! <laughs> He's right on time! Think we'll be home in time for Christmas? Maybe? I don't know! We're out of there. Look at that beautiful cinematic shot. Beautiful. The sunset. <laughs> we did it! We got off of Zanzibar land. We made it. We made it. I thought we were going to be playing a little bit longer. I'll be honest. Even with us getting uh, stuck at the... 
Well, not really stuck, but... I mean, I guess kind of, where we ended up going back by accident, and uh, we couldn't go the same way again. I really thought we were gonna be we were gonna be in for a, a long second session, but it really wasn't that long. No, we didn't beat the whole game in three and a half hours. We uh, we played it last week for like three hours or so, so it took us about six hours, a little bit more than maybe six and a half hours in total. Which, this game came out in 1990, I think, something like that, so it's, it's, it's a lengthy game. That's a really lengthy game. Shoot, there's story games that we play nowadays that aren't even that long. I really do think, though, and I know Metal Gear isn't for everybody, and I know it's got its, like, cult fan base, like every, you know, game does, but Metal Gear 2 was way better than the original, and... I do think that if they were to tell Metal Gear 2 in the design of how games are made now, so you turn it into like a 13-hour game or something like that, like a linear story game, I do think that this one would be really good. Not to say that it's not good, because it is good, but, you know, obviously the, the gameplay kind of lacks because it's an old arcade game, but I do think that this game would be really good if it was told now, like, in today's style. Uh, chat, what'd we think? What'd we think of the game? I thought it was great. Uh, I, like I said, I thought it was way better than the first one. Which, by the way, if you're interested in the story, the first one is up on our second channel. And then, uh, by the end of the week, we'll have both parts of this one up. So, you'll be able to watch through the entire playthrough. And then, uh, if you guys are not already a part of the Discord, make sure you join the Discord uh, so you guys can vote. I'll make a list of games for you guys to pick from, and uh, we'll determine what our next game's gonna be. Because we got a we got a long list of story games to play through. That was awesome. I'm glad I got to play through that because, as I was saying before earlier in our playthrough that I had only ever heard about Zanzibar. They really talk about the Zanzibar a lot in the Metal Gear Solid games, and I'd only ever heard about it. I had never actually seen it. So actually being able to play through it and be able to connect everything that I've ever just heard about together is, is awesome. And Ocelot and Liquid, I think, talk about Zanzibar a lot, but we never ran into them. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to strengthen my lore a little bit. Campbell, good work, Snake. Have you thought about coming back to the unit? The nightmares have stopped. I'm a free man now. I see. That's too bad. By the way, about that cartridge, is it really the one Dr. Marv hid his plans in? Why don't we open it and find out? No need for that. The cartridge I brought back is Dr. Marv's. No question about it. Just put it in the MSX. All right, here it goes. Nothing's happening. What on earth? Of course! Snake was right, there's no doubt about it. This is Dr. Marv's cartridge. What are you talking about? I don't see anything. Here, look closer. Dr. Marv left his signature on it, right here. It says, Keo Marv. It's written backwards. It's gonna do the world a lot of good. Dr. Marv's last performance. He really loved games, didn't he? From the bottom of his heart. Dr. Marv was entangled in pointless uh, political game and it cost him his life. But the game he left behind will save us all. Right, Snake? Snake, where'd he go? Colonel, he's gone. Snake, where's he off to now? Snake. Snake! He promised to take me out to dinner. How long could you get? Okay, interesting post-credit scene there. Good old Roy Campbell. I don't think we ever hear from Holly again. This guy either. I have no idea who George was. George literally called us and said, yeah, here's a little bit of Prax story to Gray Fox.
Master Miller. I forgot Miller was even in this. Mr. Marv, the legend himself. They put both of his names in there. Does Fox know he killed Gustava? When they put the helicopter in there? <laughs> and can't forget the one and only, the man himself. Uh, there we have it. We, uh, beat the game in six minutes or s uh, nine seconds. There you go. <laughs> we had 19 continues, so we died 19 times. Alert mode 168. 23 rations used. Special item not used. Codename Zebra. We're a zebra, boys. Uh, so it took us six hours, nine minutes, two seconds to beat the game. That's not bad. Uh, is there like a new game plus or something? I don't know, but we're going to save. All right, that was it. That was, that was, that's the game. There it is. I loved it. Metal Gear 2. Pretty, pretty, pretty solid game. No pun intended. Uh, loved it way more than the first one. Oh, I didn't know that. That was a thing. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play the uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid games for you guys. I can't wait. Uh, uh, they could be next if you guys vote for that and that ends up being what's next and that's what's next But uh, yeah, I have no idea what we're gonna be playing next uh, Time will tell so make sure you guys if you're not already in the discord make sure you join the discord exclamation point discord and uh, Make sure you vote on what we play next, which I'll post that probably after stream today. So just to let you guys know